Hi everyone, this is Cloud Deter here with a tutorial on how to upgrade the firmware on your iNull Novo 7 Venus. So, to start off with this tutorial, you'll need to have all your files back up from your tablet onto your computer because the upgrade process includes wiping everything from your tablet. So make sure you have a backup saved on your computer. So first off, you'll need to download the two links in the description. So one will be for the program and one will be for the firmware. You can also go to the forum link to see the different firmwares there. So we have the upgrade tool here and then we got the latest firmware and we also have the previous firmwares. So next, after you download the firmware, just save it somewhere, so I saved mine on the desktop and so first off we're gonna open and install the program for updating our tablet so that's in the folder called hero for nuclear upgrade tool dot zip so open it up and then we're just gonna extract it to the desktop and it'll take a bit So once it's extracted, just close the window, open the folder, and you'll see a bunch of files here. Click on setup.exe, and once you open it, make sure to click yes or allow for administrator permissions. And then this window will pop up. So just follow the inst installation prompts. So next. And then next and then it'll install and there might be a little pop-up that will come up saying something about driver like now so it says Windows can't verify the publisher of the driver software so this is the driver for the tablets in order for the tablet to upgrade so it's fine to install it so click install this driver software anyway and now it's installed so we just close this and next we're gonna extract the firmware so this is the firmware I have here let's just open it up so just go through all these folders yep so this is the firmware files so I'll just open this extract it here Alright, so now we have it extracted, so go ahead and open the folder, and this is the firmware file here, so we have the 0328 firmware, and we got the rest of the firmware files here. Alright, so now we can open the program we just installed, which is actually called the tablet product tool. So go to your start menu, go to programs, look for the tablet product tool, and click on it. And allow administrator permissions. So click yes. So once it comes up, a window will just pop straight up. And this is where you go look to look for your firmware file. So I have mine saved on the desktop. And I just scroll down, so in this folder and there's your firmware file so just click on it click open read the firmware then click replace so you'll see all these options come up so this is for the different parts of the firmware to be flashed onto your device so first off we have recovery partition so click on image and then you'll see the folder will just in where the firmware was so we've clicked on recovery partition so click on rec.image or img and then next is misc partition so click on image and then click on misc and then next we have system partition so system and 
it's this step is optional so if you have a firmware that has has a image file called inol mp apk or something like that or basically you want the pre-installed chinese apps you'll select image here and then you'll search for the image file with the pre-installed apps and then you'll just select that and open it and it will appear here so this step is optional but I usually don't do this step so just double check that you have all the correct files so rec.image miss.image and system.image and make sure these two are checked because we need to wipe the device before we put on the new firmware onto it and this is the part where we connect our tablet to the computer alright so here we have the tablet so we're going to power off the tablet so first off just press and hold the power button and then click power off and OK so just wait for it to power off and then next we have to connect the USB cable so just connect one end into the side of your computer and connect the other ends into your tablet so for me that'll be this end so it's a bit hard to use one. Okay, so we have it connected and a connection sound should come out from your computer. And it's currently charging, so we want to get it into the firmware upgrade mode. So in order to do this, you have to press and hold the volume plus button and the power button so so just for reference you'll see a battery charging here so if you don't see it just tap on the power button once and it'll appear so first off we click the volume plus button and then the power button so we have to hold them and then the screen will disappear and then let go of your power button keep holding the volume plus button and just wait for it and on the computer there should be a connection sound and it'll start installing the driver firmware so okay so now we have the drivers being installed so it's just gonna find the drivers and install it for us And if you have any problems installing the driver, you can go to just open a new file explorer window. So go to your C drive, then program files, and then scroll down to tablet product tool. And then we have driver here, so just click on that. And right click on this file here so ADFU win USB and click install and this will pop up so just click install this driver software anyway and then it'll install it for you so once it installs you'll see a progress bar here with ready in the tablet product or the firmware upgrade tool alright so from this point this is where we'll actually start the firmware upgrade process so make sure not to disconnect your USB cable during the update or you might something might happen to your tablet and just as a double check, make sure you have all your files on your tablet backed up before you start this.
So now we'll click on the down button which will download the firmware onto our tablet and it starts the process now so you might hear a few disconnection sounds coming from your computer that's fine so it'll take depending on how fast your computer is it will take a few minutes to upgrade the firmware so we'll just fast forward this process and I'll be right back Alright, so now that the firmware upgrade tool has been finished, you'll say successful and took mine a minute and 45 seconds to upgrade. So now that we've finished, we can disconnect our tablet and power it on. Alright, so now we can disconnect our tablet and then you'll have to press and hold the power button for about 8 seconds so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then just let go and then your tablet should power on automatically but if it doesn't just try again and since this is the first boot it'll take longer than uh, the normal boot time to start up so this is just only because it's the first boot and once it does the first boot then every other time you boot it up it will be much faster alright so thanks for watching my tutorial and if you have any questions just leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help out see you around